I've had, if we counted them, probably seven bad D'Addario strings in 30 years. The reason we only stock D'Addario strings is because D'Addario strings are perfect. It's nice to be able to depend on something. Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. I just want to tell you a little bit about AJ Gent in this rig rundown. AJ is a third generation of musicians that his, his great uncle, his grandfather, and his father took sacred steel, which is something that came out of Pentecostal churches, and brought it to the world, kind of creating its own genre. And AJ has this, this sort of spiritual, amazingly musical approach to the instrument. And I'm glad we get to share it, to you, share it with you right now. So here it is, AJ Gent. Hey everybody, I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. I'm with AJ Gent and his singing guitar. Yeah, Man, yeah. AJ, I, 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 uh, I think like a lot of people, I found you on social media, and you know how social media you can scroll through it forever, <laughs> and you sure don't, is. and you never stick on anything. And I, I kept coming across your videos, yeah. and I were like, stop and watch the whole thing. Wow. And it's just, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's like a, a first time I heard you, I thought this guy is. I Touched by the hand it. of God. Ah, wow. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm I'm just a servant. Oh, <laughs> so I'm just a servant. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you're you're uh, you uh, came to see us today. So, yes. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. I know that that uh, that your father. I, I I heard of him in the in the that documentary Sacred Steel. Yeah. That yeah. came out like now, like 20 years ago. I think, yeah. Right? Well, my my well, really, it all started with my great uncle Willie Eason. Oh yeah. And he used to tour around. Um, with uh, the phrase Willie Easton and his talking guitar, right? Uh, yeah, right. So, um, and then from there, my, my, and that was back in like the 1930s. And so, <laughs> um, yeah, and then my grandfather uh, came in by the name of Henry Nelson, and he became, I always say he was like the Jimi Hendrix of the Pentecostal church when it comes down to the lap steel, because, man, he was just, just whipping it, <laughs> right. you, will, you know? Right. And, um, and he took things to a whole nother level when it came down to that um, that singing sound, if you will. Yeah. Uh, and uh, from there, my father, Aubrey Gent Sr., uh, comes in and he starts touring all over the world and just doing amazing things. And of course, there's so many different stories about all three of them uh, that would take forever to go right. to. But, right. Uh, but yeah, but that's it. So and then it's me, right? Yeah. And I come in and I'm just. Um, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Continuing well, on. You know? well, it's like you, you didn't have a choice. You like, I didn't have had a to be great. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's it's definitely um, uh, a work in progress. I yeah. Would say that. yeah. Well, I mean, I I I, uh, I just think it's so inspiring. Everything you play, I love it. Yeah. Now, let's, I appreciate that. Let's talk about this this guitar. I've seen this one before. I've seen yeah. you. You know, as I said, I follow entirely on social media. I've seen you play a lot. And yes. I've seen this one. This is a recurring favorite. It is. <laughs> well, because uh, the past year or so, I've gotten back on lap steel. This is actually lap steel guitar. Yeah. Before, I was just uh, customizing regular you know, yeah. guitars um, from, uh, from Fender all the way to just all kind of guitars, man. I just get one and say, hey, let's hide in the neck. And I did that because I was so in love with the sound of a guitar, right? right? And yeah. so, and then applying a slide to it, it was just like beautiful. Um, I wasn't so key in, keyed in on the, um, the traditional sound right. of lap steel for yeah. a while. And then one day I was just inspired to pick it back up. And um, I got with Bill Asher uh, and he had this, this thing like almost built. And I called him, I said, hey man, I need a guitar. He sent me a picture of this, and I was like, "I'll take it," you know. And um, soul. Yeah. Man. So, uh, so I'm back on lap steel again. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Beautiful. Well, can you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, yeah. So this guitar here, uh, it's it. We have um, obviously six strings. Yeah. <laughs> we got uh, Lindy Fraylin pickups in it. Uh, so this is the um, P90, and then a 
an actual humbucker. Oh, that's so cool, um, the way they look. That's like a P90 disguise as yeah, a humbucker. Yeah, because you can't, exactly. Yeah. You can't really tell unless you're like right up there on it. Right. And um, and I like it because it gives me just that, that punchy sound when yeah. it comes down. You know, the singing. Um, right. And then the, the, the humbucker, uh, I'm not gonna go crazy now, but um, you know it gives you that 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 raunchy, you know, yeah. uh, overdrive slight tone. You know, it kind of sweetens up a, a bit, you know. Right. And um and then here's the thing, like there is a a, a little secret about this guitar, you know, because a lot of people say, well, what's the little chicken knob over there? What's going on? Yeah. With that? Well, that's actually. Uh, acoustic pickup in it, and um, man, it sounds gorgeous. Like when I. Oh yeah. You know, so because I do a lot of solo stuff, that really comes in handy for you know the singing, songwriting. You know, oh aspect right. Of what I do so. Right. But um, yeah. So right there, were, were you just was that just the acoustic pickup, or was it blended with the? It was other just ones? the acoustic pickup. Wow. Yes, it gives you such a a, a great sound versus like this would be just the, the P90. Right. You know, and so it gives me combinations. I can actually blend them all to a point if I did this here slightly. You know, so, but, um, yeah, I've, I've fallen in love with this guitar. So. Oh, yeah. As you can tell. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Well, that's, that's, so are the controls, is it uh, two volumes, one tone? Yes, it's two volumes, one tone. I never really mess with the tone knob. Um, I depend on the hands for all the tone I could possibly get. Right. I never mess with it. Um, unless it's just too bright one night. Um, but I'm, I'm never, you know, I mean, I guess you could do the whole... With the wah thing, sure. It, but I don't, I don't do any of that hardly. I, yeah, 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 that's what's so amazing about uh, like. Okay, we'll get into your, the rest of your rig pretty soon, <laughs> yeah. but you know, most guys have you know, they're running through some stuff and they get some real dirt and stuff like that. Yeah. And you're just, I mean, that's pretty much all I, I'm hearing is a guitar. Yeah, I try to, <laughs> I try to stay as simple as possible. Now, don't get me wrong, I've, I've been through the phase of just having a lot going on. But what I've noticed um, is by the time I get on stage and I start performing. I'm confused about what's down there. Right. And I start tap dancing. Yeah, and yeah. I don't want to do that. So, um, and then troubleshooting makes it easier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when something right. goes around. Yeah. But, uh, just like everybody else, I'll see a pedal and I'm like, I got to have that. Yeah, you yeah. know, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I think you're right there. There's something about like not keeping it lean like this. You're just in the moment, you yep. know? You're, yeah. you're not thinking, you're just playing. Exactly. Yeah. And the goal is to play from the heart and not the board. Right. So that's that's right. the goal for me, man. So, yeah. yeah. Hey, well, hey, mission accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. Now, what, what tuning are you using? This is open E. So is that where you e live tuning. most of the time, in, in E? Oh, or do man. you change it up? I mean, like I, right now, you don't have an opportunity to change it up. You're just, no, I, but I change tunings all the time. Yeah. I, I really, I'm, I, you know, I go from E9 to I, any anything that inspires me, I will, I'll, I'll use that tuning. And I do it from a songwriting standpoint, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And so um, obviously with the lap steel, uh, some think that you're limited on it, you're really not. Uh, it's all about tuning and it's all about uh, just the, um, what, you, what you do with it, you know, as far as bar slants, different things like that to get different chords, sounds, all of that. So I try to use it to its full capability, um, but um, I'm always going through tuning. Probably after this run, man, I'll change the tuning on. Really? Yeah. So do you, do you often carry multiple guitars with you at different tunings? Some, yeah, sometimes I do. But uh, that can be a whole hassle with yeah, the changing it, out. It, it does. Uh, at times I do, but most of the time I'll, I'll rehearse a certain uh, plethora of songs on a tuning and that's what it's going to be for the show. Right. right. You know, I'm yeah. not going to find myself switching, you know, it, 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 you can easily get confused. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Which tuning is it? So, uh -huh. um, but for now it's open E okay. on this show. And what, uh, what strings are you using? Oh my goodness, these are, what are these? I just changed these. These are, believe it or not, I usually keep uh, the Asher strings, uh, uh, you know, he has these strings, I usually keep them on this guitar. Um, but I, 
whatever I can get my hands right. on. You know, I, right. I don't really, I don't have a specific string. Um, as far as gauges, um, they change up and down. You know, the, the beautiful thing about this particular guitar is that because it's a shorter scale, you can put heavier gauges. Yeah. Um, yeah, that neck is not gonna. Yeah, no, it's, it's not, not gonna give. Oh, it's not gonna do anything. Uh, although that does affect um, my 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 playing and my movement, so I try to stay as neutral with the string gauges as you know uh, as the slide you know can handle, or uh, you know without it being too slack. I yeah. like thickness, um, but I'm I'm like total I'm totally against the idea that your strings need to be heavy if you want good tone. Right. Because I don't really believe that. You yeah. Know, I, you know, so. Oh yeah, right, because there's so many examples. Oh uh, yeah, you know. yeah, you know, so. Um, yeah, but these are just, I think these are Asher's on here. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, okay, picks, slide, tell I'm, me all about all that. Well, for a long time, uh, I was using glass slides. Yeah. And I got into, this here slide is a, um, a Rocky Mountain slide. Oh yeah, Rocky yeah. Mountain slide coming. Yeah, yeah. and um, uh, I love this slide. It, it actually, it's my birthstone actually. Oh so, really? Yeah, so that, that kind of works. You know, it's my my Moses rod, if you will. Okay, so what is your birthstone? My birthstone, if I can get that word out, <laughs> is sapphire. So this okay. is a sapphire slide. Um, uh, the stone, and I'm all about stones. Yeah. You know, we have we, uh, my merchandise is stones, man. Oh um, beautiful. That's why my wrist is. This is part of my uh, my rig. Yeah, yeah. Will. Um, so we we are huge with gemstones. Oh. We love those. So this this works perfectly with Doc, you know. So, oh, that's great. Uh, but yeah. So but I did use uh, glass for a while, but now I'm I'm over to this. Yeah. So, it, so did you just tell Doc, hey, got a crazy idea? Well, what happened was uh, some time ago, uh, a friend of mine's gave me one of his slides, and yeah. I was like, ah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Because I was so into glass. Yeah. And. Um, I think I was out on the road one time, the glass broke. I didn't have any more with me. Right. How unprepared. Yeah. And I picked it up and I started using it. I was like, wow, I like this. You know? Right. And so I immediately got on his website and I just started ordering. I was like, yeah, this is it. Yeah. You know, but um, but again, I a, lo a lot of my stuff is is contingent upon, my rig is contingent upon how I'm feeling. Yeah. Um, and um, and I'm constantly recreating. So uh, this is what it is right now. I can't say it's going to be the same. Tomorrow. Yeah, you know what it's I'm a saying? moving so, target. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah, I get it. But Sapphire we love, so uh, okay. I might hold on to it. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> it's your birthstone. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's <laughs> not going anywhere. Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay, very cool. And picks, what do you, are you? Dunlop, these are just regular Dunlop picks. Um, you know, with thumb picks, you kind of tend to use those forever until they break. Right. Or until that thing starts to file down some. When that, when that pick on that thumb starts to wear down, you yeah. can tell when somebody's like, man, using it forever. Yeah. That's when, you know, I'll switch over. But yeah. it takes so long to get these finger picks comfortable. Oh, I know. I don't want to change them. So yeah. these are, if I lose one, oh. it's like, well, just get another one, right? And it's like, no, it's not the same. I got to let it mold my finger. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a real bond. Yeah. You know, we get them just <laughs> right. Is. Yep. Yeah, don't even take them off. No. Sleep with them off. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. For sure. Yeah. And okay, your uh, your pedal board. It's about the most modest yeah. pedal board uh, you could have. Tell well, me about with it. With this thing here, you know the H uh, ninety. Yeah. It's got everything in it, right? Uh, yeah. You know, at least for me, it, it has everything that I need, and I don't even use. I, I can't even say I don't use half of it because I literally probably use one or two effects in it. Yeah, it sounds like you just pull up. There's just like a hint of of reverb. Yeah, just that extra reverb because I'm so obsessed with that singing sound. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm, I love that sound. Yeah. So my goal is to mimic a voice. Right. And the only time there's, if I'm trying to get distortion, it's because I want that vocal to be like a distorted vocal. Yeah. You know, like when you hear Howlin' Wolf sing, you know, right. he has that rasp, right? Right. And so when my distortion, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm yeah. constantly thinking. So I don't, I don't think guitar, I think vocal. And I don't like too much to get in the way of that. So my effects, are very similar to what um, a mixing engineer would do to a vocal. Yeah. That's how I try to think. Yeah. You know, so, um, you know. Yeah, that's a really interesting way to put it. Because yeah, Holland Wolf, there's so many, so many singers that can put that natural, exactly. natural. And when you're on the bridge pickup and digging in. Yeah, exactly. It's trying to give you that. Yeah. Yeah, and I. It's that edge to that's it. That's the, and that's the, the benefits of having the two different pickups too. So you, 
you know, you don't have to have a whole lot going on down here to kind of get to the point, um, you know. But again, that thing has, you know, we have, like I have a, oh my God. Yeah, what's the most radical thing in there that you use? Ah, uh, <laughs> that's a good question. All right, yeah, so, one caveat, you have um, to use it. It's still, goes to, it's, it's, it's still the vocal thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, I, I try my best. I don't like to use this effect all the time because I want, the sound to literally come from the guitar in my hands, but um, yeah, you know, I get the actual right. vocal sound, right. kind of like a Peter Peter Frampton type thing, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but that's probably as radical as it gets. Yeah. You know, it doesn't get any too crazy. Yeah. Yet. I don't even use that as much, you right. know, but um, it's there just in just case. Just in case. Yeah. I, I try to keep it as simple as possible because, again, I don't want to tap dance. But when I need inspiration, that's where I go because there's a lot of things in there. So, yeah. yeah, great. And then uh, you've got the loop station for, for playing solo gigs like this with uh, boot up tracks and things like that. Yes. Well, yeah, because I don't use it for looping at all. Yeah. Not right now, anyway. But um, I do the track thing. We load tracks and, um, you know, lately I've been doing a lot of instrumental type of um, healing sound waves. Uh, is, is the, uh, the I'm so album. about that stuff. Really, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. I've, I've, you know, we've, you know, this has been something that's been in 432. the 432. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's, you know, that's the... Um, uh, that's the purpose of this pedal, and that's all it does is play tracks for me. Yeah. Um, so, but, um, you know, it, it can do amazing things. I, what I love about it, though, is anything I do in the studio, I can load it right on. To, yeah. You wow, know? that and is convenient. And it has convenient. hours and hours and hours of, of just uh, uh, time, so that's so, beautiful. So when you're recording in the studio, do you, are you, like, multi-tracking yourself, or you're kind of playing everything, or working with loops, or, or, or full I band? I, cre or? I create the loops yeah. in the studio. Yeah. And I know that's a little different, um, but I create the loops. Yeah. Um, and I just load them on here. Bank them and you got them. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Keep things simple. Yeah. Hey, y'all. I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. So, our rig rundowns for a long time now have been sponsored by Diderio. And I'm thrilled to be using the Diderio Expand pedal board. I've got this little guy that fits in my gig bag. And like many of you, I'm changing pedals all the time. Love having a board that can shrink as I'm shrinking my board or expand as I'm expanding it. And that's why I love the Expand pedal board. Their patented telescoping technology lets me instantly change the size of my pedals playground. It also features a unique cable management system and comes fitted with loops of Velcro, keeping everything neat and easy to swap. The two Expand versions comes with either one or two rows, depending on your needs. So a big thanks to Dario. Now, let's get back to more rig rundown. Before we get into your steel, uh, tell me about so, what amps you're running. So this right here is actually um, it's Quilter. Um, it's my uh, my signature cab. Oh, wonderful! Um, but it's an Overdrive 202 in there, so um, you can get those. Uh, but the signature, I did that with them a couple years ago. Oh, great! And so um, yeah, of course they're great people. Yeah, you know, Chris and Pat, you know, and so. Uh, I've been I've been faithful with them. Yeah, and wonderful. So um, we did a a, uh, a signature together. Um, it's got a copper back speaker in it, um, and it's extremely light. That's really what I. Like. Yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I go after clean sound. Yeah. So I, I don't. Yeah, and that's all the wattage you could yeah. ever need. Yeah. For for whatever reason though, I still love high wattage amps. Yeah. Even though I never turn up loud. Well, probably because they just are so clean, yeah. you know, you're, you're not going to break up unless you really want it to. Oh, yeah. I mean, that thing is 200 watts oh, coming God. out of single 12, so, and it does this because of that 12 inch. Uh, but yeah. this one over here is um, a 15 inch, so uh, it's more round and, and, and sure. spread out a bit. Sure, for the steel. Yeah, for okay. the steel, exactly. So, oh, um, you know what, okay, and is that a, a Milkman running? That's the Milkman, yeah, I'm running a Milkman with it. Uh, just to give me a little more of the, um, well, only because I'm uh, only using a volume pedal on that one over there. Yeah. It just gives gives me a little bit more of a oh, no. preamp sound, you know. Right, right. So, so it's interesting. You're not like over here. You're not you're not using a volume pedal. All that vol all that those volume swells are just. Yeah. Well, that's all all right here. Yeah. Demonstrate a little bit. That's.
You know, it's yeah. literally all, you know, and again, the, the, it's, it's used from the standpoint of, you know, the dynamics of a singer. You know, when you're singing, you want to utilize the mic. You're using a mic. You know, a lot of times when you see a singer and they're moving that mic all the time, you know, that's literally what this is because you don't want to sing right in it. You know, we're not right. doing a microphone. <laughs> right, right, right. No, yeah, but, um, I, I, I get it. You know, but yeah, that that's, again, the same effect that I'm going for. And it, it just, it. I think when you do it that way, when you, I mean, and specifically when you do it that way, it's so much, I think, more... I don't know, got so much more flow to it than a, than a foot, you know? It seems yeah. like you get nuance yeah. right there. Well, when I go over there, I, I, have to, I have to transform that to the foot. Yeah, yeah. So that can be a little challenging at first to the brain. Right. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's, it, with the hand I do this, and then when I get behind a pedal still, I got I to gotta work the foot. Yeah, so. <laughs> right, right. Because yeah. both these hands are yeah. very busy. Yes. Okay. Yes, on there it is. Well, hey, let's uh, let's hear this thing. Yeah, awesome. All right, now you're on the steel. Let's hear all about this. Yeah, so this is a Jackson Maverick. And so many years ago, Showbud came out with the Maverick. And right. This is the, the reboot of that. It's the Maverick HD. Um, and obviously six strings. Yeah. Two pedals. That's that's your thing. Yeah. Six strings. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever go, did you ever work beyond that? Did you ever did you ever? I've done all the way to fourteen strings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the way to fourteen strings. And um, I decided that I wanted to be a little more simple than that. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, and uh, and this is this does everything that I needed to do. Let's hear this thing a little uh, bit. <laughs> I love the sound of this thing. Oh, man. man. <laughs> you know. So, well, what tuning are you in? This is another E tuning, but we're just going higher. So, okay. you, we got a G sharp at the top. Okay. You know, it's then E, B, G sharp, E, and then B at the bottom. Oh, okay. So, it's um, it's really like a E9 hybrid in a six string right. form. Yeah. Right? So, you know, yeah. uh, the setup, the whole setup is E9 setup. Okay. And um, and four knee levers? Or? Four knee levers, yeah. Okay. Yep. And two pedals. Two pedals. That's uh, That's all I need. Great. That's all I need. So um, I, I, obviously there's there's so much in there, man, that uh, that I'm finding, you know, just with, um, you know, simple, you know, with bar you know, slants. Okay, and first everything. of all, that, that's not simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that yeah. takes a little work. But, it's like uh, a, it's like a really but, uh, difficult. <laughs> I try thing. to uh, I try to find as much I try to find as much as possible within the guitar that I can do before I feel like I need more. Right. And that's all my equipment. Period. Before I yeah. feel like I need more, I try to play it, you know, fully. And so, um, but this thing here is uh, is is a, just a newer guitar that that Jackson is uh, pushing out. It would be your uh, your Tele to Fender. Yeah. You okay. Know, it's, it's, it's that guitar. Yeah. And um, you know, just trying to introduce it to more guitar players who, you know, they want to play pedal steel, but they're like, Yeah. No, man. That, right, that's right. too much. You know what I'm saying? Like intimidated by it. Well, this is this is a good place to start. Yeah, that'd be an, that would be a much easier transition because yes. e, when like when I first bought a pedal steel and I'm like, E9, what is? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. What's this? What is, yeah. yeah, it's it, it could be a lot to digest. Now, and don't get me wrong, ten strings is great. I, I'm yeah. not speaking against it, but from what I'm doing, of course, the goal is to still have the singing sound. Yeah. But when I need to, um, you know, just bring a little more chords out, and I don't want to work too hard for it. Right. Uh, then, you know, this right here is, is my answer. You know, so yeah, yeah, I, everything I you need. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and all you're using is this. Uh, what is it? Good rich auto. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now, now this goes back to what I was saying earlier about uh, switching my brain from using the volume on my hands to right. down at the foot. Do you so, find yourself like? I don't do that yet. <laughs> you know, but uh, it depends on the night. Yeah, but, right. Uh, You know, so it, 
that's a work in progress as well. You know, just trying to get it as as, as tight as the vocal, uh, right? And uh, to match what I'm doing on the lap still. So, yeah. But uh, but it's simple. That is simple. Yeah. As far as this rig here. <laughs> Did, okay. And you're singing while you're playing. Do you find it more difficult to sing with pedal steel or lap steel it's, when you're doing them both at the same time? Um, the lap steel is a little harder because this is. You know, because I'm playing that like right. this versus yeah. like this, it's a little bit harder. So um, the pedal still I can see. You know, if I'm singing a vocal, I can still see. Yeah. You know, here versus on a lap still, I got to do this and sing. Right. So how, how am I doing that? So I bring the microphone down, and <laughs> you know, usually sometimes I'll uh, I'll keep it simple, yeah. right, so that I can get the vocal right. Uh, but um, rehearsing. Yeah. all the time man just trying to figure out figure out new ways to do it but uh, it's definitely more simplified here hey so aj where can i get your healing sounds album so the healing sound wave album is on all of the social media platforms well as far as uh, spotify and apple music all of that it's sure. all over that place um and it's all digital so you can't okay. get a copy of a cd right <laughs> i don't know if we're still printing cds yeah uh but um I, I, people print i don't know if anybody buys them. yeah right <laughs> yeah. they're still being printed i got a box yeah. loaded now. Yeah. um but um you can you can uh find my music there as well as if you, you can follow me on instagram twitter yeah all that stuff. really it is the most i mean uh yeah your social media man i spend so <laughs> really? yeah, yeah, it's great. It's my feel good. It's my feel yes, good place. That's you know? the goal, man. That's so, goal. okay, Healing tell sound. me this. Do you do you tune to like this? I mean, do you do you tune to these 442? I don't. Or I you, don't. That's or actually a great your, question. Or do you hear with your ear? I hear with my ear. And, and I, the reason why I don't necessarily tune that way is because I believe the vibration in that slide is already kind of, it's flirting with 440 anyway. Yeah. You know? So I'm not right. really in 440 when that moves. You know, it's not there. Yeah, so, those are the notes in between the notes. Exactly. And then a lot of times with tuning a pedal steel, uh, man, you know, it, it, it's all about the atmosphere and, you know, different know. things like that. So um, well, it's, 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 it's just one big exercise and compromise yeah. because, you know, you push on a pedal, the, it, exactly. it's going to cave a little bit. Exactly, and, that yeah. drop. Yeah, so mm. that, you know, um, but it's all in that left hand. So uh, that's where the healing is, yeah. moving that left hand, like Lloyd Green said. Right. You know, it's, he's in that left hand, and that's where I want to stay. God. Yeah. So, AJ, I know you got a gig to do, so we'll get out of your way, but would you mind playing us off with something? Yes. <laughs> I've used the stereo strings myself for at least 30 years, if not more. Everybody who comes in here, with very, very few exceptions, plays the stereo strings. And they didn't get there because of any reason except dependability and tone. 